What it do, what it do, fam? It's your boy D, and I'm back with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, thank you all for rocking with me. That's returning. All right, this story today I'm coming with it's um, about a mo mother of three who was killed by uh, you know a massive steel drum that was you know on her job. You know, and it somehow busted loose while they, you know, you know, on um, on the site, and um, and this is in, happened in Pittsburgh. Um, she's a medical worker, so we're gonna let you see this video and shout out Pittsburgh. Thank you. Um, we all going to. I'm gonna go ahead and show this video to you. Just stand back and watch. Right now, an investigation is underway into a tragic construction accident in Oakland. A woman has died after being crushed by a one-ton metal cylinder. The cylinder rolled away from the site of Pitt's new sports complex. We thank you for being with us at 6. I'm Kim Gable. I'm Ken Rice. Mamie Ba is in Oakland with more on how it happened. This section of Terrace Street is blocked off. You can see the cylinder. We're told it came rolling down from the Victory Heights construction site, Pitt's new sports facility that's being built next to the Peterson Event Center. The cylinder broke through a section of fencing and hit the woman who was walking with some of her colleagues. Cranes and construction surround the University of Pittsburgh. Construction, university, there's construction everywhere, and it's just really unfortunate. That a metal cylinder from the site of an incoming sports complex is being blamed for the death of a woman. I mean, it could have been a student, could have been anybody. A little bit scary when like an accident like this can just like happen on like a random oh. Friday. EMS and police blocked off the area near the University of Pittsburgh after the deadly accident. Investigators say the cylinder escaped from the Victory Heights construction site and hit the woman before coming to arrest against a vehicle. But it's at least at least a ton. It's a heavy piece of steel. They had uh, pronounced the victim deceased within a minute of arrival. This afternoon, a statement was issued on behalf of one of the contractors. It reads, with heavy hearts, Costa Contracting wishes to extend their deepest condolences to the family of the woman who lost her life today. Our thoughts and prayers are with her family during this profoundly difficult time. Pitt also commenting, saying, the University of Pittsburgh and Occupational Safety and Health Administration will lead the investigation with the full support of the university. We offer our sincere condolences to the family and friends of the victim. And it's just really unfortunate that like our beautiful campus is just constantly under construction and obviously it's proving to be dangerous as well. In an email to staff obtained by KDKA-TV, UPMC says the victim was an employee at Western Psychiatric. Reporting in Oakland, Mimi Ba, KDK TV News. And there you have it. News story. It's called, uh, what was that? The lady's name who was killed in the freak accident, Aaliyah Lopez. Age 51, mother of three. Walking on the campus of her job, she worked at, what was that? Um, the University of Pittsburgh Medical Western Psychiatric Hospital. And um, her and a few coworkers was walking. And this thing escaped from the construction site where it was at. This big old barrel, this big drum, and you know, those things are super heavy. They tons, tons. I mean, it's solid metal. Rolling down and rolling her over and crashing into a car. She had no idea that, you know, she, you know, her demise was going to take place then and there. She had no idea that, you know, what was going to take place or what was going to happen. That's why we can't take life for granted. Because you never know when your time or your number is up. And this lady wasn't killed on purpose or nothing. It was a freak accident. 
this just something that just happened, you know. And um, you know what a way to go. Wow, you know my prayers is up with for her family, for her children, for any of her surviving family members. I, my heart go out to them. And I'm praying for them. Praying their strength. Praying, you know, their comfort. The Bible tells us, blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And my heart goes out, and I ask all of you to pray for them. Because... I mean, simply, the lady was working and was walking to, you know, with her co-workers. And just so happened, she's the one that got struck with the barrel. The big thing, you know. You just never know. I mean, we could walk, I could walk out, any of us. Things could happen, you, you know, by accident, you know. A car could run up on um, on the grass and, you know, it hit somebody. That almost happened to me, but thank you, Lord, that I didn't get hit. Because that missed me by centimeters. But the thing is, it can happen to anybody. That's why we have to have our heart right with God. You have to get to know him and be ready because we never know when our last day here on this earth is. People can leave here by heart attacks, strokes, being hit by cars, any type of accident, just like this lady did, you know. Anything could happen. Tomorrow is not promised. It's not promise. So we got to definitely seek God in everything. Wake up and be grateful and thank God that you got life. Pray the hedge of protection around you daily. Just have that relationship and talk with him on a regular basis. Be that living sacrifice for him. Just got to have that relationship with God. Because you never know. Tomorrow's not promised. Here today, gone today. That being said, this your boy D. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And press that post bell notification button for more future content. And remember, I love you. Most of all, God loves you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. And things that are above and beyond your control. Take your hands off and let God do it. Oh, yeah. Let me say this before I close out. Make sure you don't have no grudges against anybody either. That's it. That's all I got to say. Make sure you have your heart right in every way, shape, form, and fashion. Till we meet again in the next video. Peace.